Alrighty, I'm at my local park where I'm going to pick up some single cell life form samples. I have lab assistant Mary with me who has warned me on penalty of death not to show her face. Okay. Alright, as you can see we have a very tranquil setting. This is a perfect location, I believe, to find my paramecium. There are even fish in the water. Look at that water. You almost just want to jump in there. But anyhow, we shall see what we see. These little shoals here are nutrient rich. Perhaps a good place to capture the paramecium. That's all. Okay. Be the videographer so keep me in the video. Okay. All right, here I am. And I'm collecting samples with my lab assistant, Mary, who, on pain of death, will not allow herself to be videotaped. Regardless, I'm using these little specimen containers right here I got at the store. They're cleaned out and everything like that, numbers, and I write everything down. Most of the samples I've uh, obtained, and in fact, actually, Mary did a better job of obtaining them, I think, than I did, came from little standing puddles and stuff, which is where you're going to find most of your things anyway. I mean, that's high school biology to, to find out things like that. Regardless, um, I'm going to now take a more free water sample and see if I can grab an amoeba or two. Now, let me remind you all that I am not an expert and have no idea what I'm doing. So let's see how good I do a, of a job when I'm technically totally an absolute novice. Alright, I'm going to come over here to the water. Get my foot out of it before it becomes completely soaked. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to capture a little bit of water. Your hand's in the way. And I'm going to, thank you lab assistant Mary, I'm going to pour the water out. So this is pretty well primed, I think, now. And there's some green slime. Actually, check that. I'm going to grab the green slime while I'm here, too. Let me grab an empty sample container. Could have done a better job of that. But regardless, there it is. Well, it could eat the leaf. Green slime. I'm going to go down here, capture the air in the top, go all the way down, and then let the air out and suck in the top layers of sediment. There. Simple as that. Now, the most important part of all, after you capture your samples, it's sort of like the number one thing to do here, is you um, write down what you got. If you don't write it down, then how will you know? Sample three, silt, bottom, and Sample D, B, C, D, what was D, green, green, slime, um, running, it tells me it's running water, I'll look it up later. Alright folks, let's see what kind of a kingdom of critters we're going to find when we get back to the microscope. Thank you lab assistant Mary, your payment will be as usual. Alrighty, now we are back from uh, the park, and as you can see I have amoebas growing in various little containers and such. It's now time to process these samples and look at them under the microscope and see if we see anything. Now to help you guys out, I'm going to check the samples, and when I'm done checking them, I'm going to then tell you 
about anything that I find in the samples. So you don't have to watch the hours of examination I'll have to go through to find stuff, because, you know, that would be boring. And we have some pretty decent samples here. The water's quite right. Lab assistant Mary did a very good job of finding stuff. I'm going to start out with a little bit of water here that's basically uh, spring water. That's been, just, you know, spring water, it's distilled, it's perfect, it's the right stuff. And I have a um, transfer pipette, which I'll use to squeeze with. I have two types of slides I'm going to be using. For up close and personal, I'm going to use a flat glass slide along with a, co a cover slip. And initially, though, when I'm just looking for stuff, when I'm first getting a feel of what's there, oops, little papers here fly everywhere, I'm going to use these things. Um, they have an indentation in them, see? A little dent. And that dent is what's going to allow me to um, see everything. So, without further ado, let's see what we can find in our park. All right. Well, let's see what we have here. I'm going to show you the start here because um, recently YouTube cut off my monetization for my video because uh, they said that I couldn't show proof of copyright for my videos of amoebas. Apparently, I guess they thought they were good enough that they must have been taken from some site. Which is regrettable, because I'm not sure how in the world you'd ever show copyrights, but here you are, YouTube, in the event that you watch my video. Here's the, the microscope. Is this service copyright? God, I hope so. Alright, now I'm going to take my first uh, sample. I'm going to take sample A. And, um... Let's pop the top off of this. Put this down while I remove the top. There we go. And I'm only going to show you this for one because you don't need to watch me do this for every single one. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of air out. I'm going to go down to the murky bottom and pull just a little bit of stuff. Put a drop. One single drop is an entire universe when dealing with these sorts of things. Okay. Now let me put this here so you can see. Let's switch this to the correct objective. My 4x. My least powerful objective. Uh, objective. Objective. And now I move this into position so it's good to go. Turn on the light. And now, uh, now we'll see what's under the microscope. 